the first thing you want to do is check your configuration settings check everything to make sure it's alright um, like for this one uh, let me turn the magnifier back on so here's the volume and you can see that it's working so when that's moving then you know your microphone is working when you have it when you add a microphone so you know there's nothing wrong that's moving that means the the microphone is working but it's something wrong itself with the with the software program which ha which is what happened to me so if you checked your configuration settings and everything is okay and you know you're, you're you're recording like I am now like I'm three minutes in and then you get done recording and you play it back and there's no sound then that means there's something wrong and more than likely it's it's it could be a problem with the program software program itself so the next thing you'll want to do is go down to your left hand side click on the Windows button go into your control panel and go to programs uninstall a program before you do the clean up your PC you know do a disk cleanup there's other programs that will clean your computer up do that first and then once you get it cleaned up run your antivirus and make sure you know like if you're going to sleep uh, let it do a full scan overnight and uh, and then once it gets done with your your virus scan uh, go through and and record something and see if it'll record if it if it records and it doesn't have the audio then then there's more than likely a problem with uh, the the software program itself so you'll want to look so once you have your your interface open that where you can see what you want to uninstall go down the mini cam mini cam and un hit click uninstall uninstall it then go back to the site you know uh, well, let me see so you know you just open up your browser so let's say I just uninstalled it and then you know just to be safe restart the PC and then you know you have your your PC running again and uh, open up your web browser and like for me, you know all I have to do is type in oh uh, <laughs> let me go here I have to change it yep sometimes I forget to change it so you guys don't know what I'm saying or you guys don't know what I'm doing so yeah so yes so you so you have your start and then you go to your control panel then you go to programs then uninstall like for Windows 7 it's all the way at the bottom then you just your interface come up list with all of your programs that you have installed scroll down and you'll see many cam and then just go to the top here where it says uninstall uninstall it uh, but like for me I use a powerful uninstall so that way when it uninstalls it'll also clean up the it'll prompt to come up uh, asking if I want to clean up the registry and any other things left over from Minicam 
and then I'll uh, I'll go ahead and have it uh, I'll, I'll run that and then you know so let's say it's uninstalled now and then you restart your PC and open up your web browser yeah. so many cam and then so many cam dot com and it'll be right there then you just download it again install it And then you just click on the download, install it again, and and then once you have it installed, it's best to re restart your PC just to make sure it's it's going to be because sometimes it won't run right if you install it and then you don't reboot. Some you know it doesn't happen, but it's a, it's a glitch, a bug glitch that that seems to show up once in a while. I'm not saying it happens all the time, but sometimes. If you get done on installing something on Windows, sometimes it just won't work right, and then when you restart it, it's working fine. So, you know, just to be safe, when once you get it installed again, restart it, reconfigure it, go down into your settings, and set up your microphone again. Like for right now, I'm using. Like in my last video for Bob's birthday celebration, the video was not that good because I used automatic. Because I wanted to see how it worked now, now that they, that because Minicam just went to 4.0 or whatever, and I wanted to see how good it records with the auto. It still doesn't record good with the auto with mine. It, it uses a... Uh, a lower resolution and the video doesn't come out good so I set it manually to 768 you can also go in your settings which is at the top the yellow button and you can check to see what settings it's in under video and right now it's C768 and you know if you're just using the free version, you can only go up to 1024 by 768, which is why the, when you're watching these videos made by Minicam, when I use the Minicam itself to record, it uh, it uh, it won't be as big as the the screen of the of the YouTube. It, it won't look like it's in full screen because why because my PC is uh, I think it's like 1900 19 something by 960 or something like that so when I record it's it's not gonna look full screen but but it will look but but it'll it'll record in HD and it'll look like HD, it'll look pretty clear, 768, and, uh, and it'll, it'll look, uh, it'll look nice, but it, it will just look smaller than the, the, slightly smaller than the full screen. So, once you've, uh, reconfigured, you know, installed Minicam, reconfigured it, you know, set up your, make sure your sound is set up by typing in sound and then it'll come up under sound, click sound. Like for mine, mine's already configured. Um, so you go to recording and you just double check to make sure it's configured. So right here, can, I don't know, I got this unchecked. And then the sound levels. I use mine at 51 because if I turn it all uh, higher, it tends to start to have uh, 
noise and feedback and other noises that don't really sound that nice. But I always turn the, the microphone boost up all the way and it doesn't seem to create any problems. Uh, echo cancellation. I suppose I should have noise suppression. I don't think that will hurt anything, but uh, we'll find out. But uh, it was recording fine so far. So like right here, it's, uh, it's showing up under this one and this one because Manicam is taking over because it's running. So... So now you have it reinstalled, you have uh, Manicam configured, you have your microphone configured, and then make your recording, and then once you get done recording, just, just you know, stop recording, play it back, and your, your sound should be just fine. Uh, that's what I did, uh, or at least that's what the issue was this time. So, this is one way to fix an audio issue. Uh, I mean, if there is something wrong with the program itself, this is how you can fix it. You just uninstall it and reinstall it, and it should just work fine. If it's, if it's not working, then that means... If it's still not working, that means it's not the software program it could be something else like maybe the the microphone is not working or maybe you just need to double check the sound settings to make sure they're set right and make sure the settings are set right in your in your mini cam audio and video so for this I just use the default settings. It will choose the default auto audio playback device. Listen to the sound from your microphones? No, because that will create a echo. Or at least that's what it does on mine, so I leave that unchecked. And and then, you know, uh just click OK and And just check your audio once more. You know, you should have a, a a microphone should be listed. You know, it's it's best to use. Uh, you know, like for me, I I have a laptop, and the the built-in microphone for the laptop does not record well. So I have this 20-year-old headphone set that that it records sound a little bit better. So I use that. And I have I make sure it's added, and I turn the I turn this little volume thing all the way up. I don't really mess with that. That's uh, it's just uh, changes your voice. You only get one, two, three, four. I think Witness Soft is just like whispering, like you know. Right now I'm talking and. And my voice changed. Uh, then I can go back and change it, or I can remove the microphone. I don't want to do that. And I can go back to the settings. I'm feeling hard, and I suppose it makes me sound like a chipmunk. Uh, so right now I should be sounding like a chipmunk, but. So I'm going to put it back to normal now. Because the rest of them are just helium, which is make you, makes you sound like a chipmunk. So I'm going to put it back to none, and now it should be back to normal. And then, and then that's it. Everything should be working fine. And that's going to be it for this how-to video on how to fix an audio issue using Minicam, which is obtained from Minicam.com. If you like this video, 
I would like to ask you to subscribe, maybe leave, leave some likes, leave some comments below, all that fun stuff. And thanks for watching. Have a good one, everybody.